everybody and welcome to today's video. So today's video is really exciting because I'm trying a few new products from Beauty Big Bang, so BBB. Um, I am really excited to try this because I haven't heard of the brand before and I want you guys to hear about the brand. Obviously this video is a collaboration with them. They contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try some of the products and review them in a video. I am actually doing two videos for them. So there's going to be one this week, one next week. So stay tuned for next week's video. Um, but that is basically it. It is actually really, really, really decent prices. When I went on there, I was shocked and I think I'm actually going to go on there and buy some more makeup bits. Um, but I picked stuff so that I could kind of do a full face in a way, like not a full, full face, but I'm just trying out, um, quite a few products in one, if you know what I mean. Like you'll, you'll see, you'll see. Um, but I've already done my foundation, concealer, powder and eyebrows, but the rest of it, I'm going to be using their products. Um, also, the link to the um, company will be down in the description and to all of the products that I'm testing out today will also be linked down in the description. There is also a discount code for all orders in their store and the discount code I'll put on the screen and also leave in the description, but it is GCX10 in capital letters. So go and use the code that will get you 10% off all of your orders in the store. So go and give it a go. They've already got extremely decent prices anyway. So honestly, like a code is not needed, but yeah, go and use that code anyway, if you are going to buy anything because you know, the products are really good. Also go over and follow their Instagram. Um, their Instagram is at beauty big bangs and their Facebook is at beauty big bang com. Um, so go and check them out. I'll link down their Instagram in the description if you want to go and follow them because I'm following them. And we can get into the video. Before I start though, I'm wearing this really fluffy jumper. My face is a little bit oily, not going to lie, but it's mainly because of these lights on my face. Okay, so I've actually got the packaging here, which I thought I'd show you the packaging as well because that's what the products come in. But I have taken the stuff out of the packaging because I have my nails on, so I thought I'd best take the stuff out of the packaging first. Um, but the first product that I selected was this, and it is a highlighter and blusher contour palette. I'm also trying out um, one of their eyeshadow palettes, which looks like this is the packaging. And I'm also trying out a lipstick. So I've got these here. This is what the packaging looks like. Um, and then obviously the actual product comes out of the packaging and looks like this. So I'm just gonna talk about each individual product as the video commences. So the first one I'm gonna try out is this one here. Oh yeah, by the way, when I say try out, I have tried these products before. I've tried them for a whole week. I wanted to get a feel for them so that I could give a proper review. And I also wanted to kind of know how to use it properly so that, you know, I have obviously used these before um, every single day for a week. So the first one I picked, I, I picked this and it's basically a trio. It's got a bronzer, a blusher and a highlighter in it. it. looks like this. It's actually really nice. This is perfect for traveling. Absolutely perfect. When I go on holiday, I will be definitely 100% taking this with me because it's perfect three products in one you'll find hard to get um i need a mirror this is always the issue i sit down decide i need a mirror okay so now i've got my mirror i'm just going to start applying the product so I do have to say though, just because obviously I need to be completely honest in these videos, um, when I um, received this, the bronzer thing had fallen out, um, but nothing had broken. It had just come out slightly in place, but I just literally stick it back in and now it's fine. So I just wanted to mention that um, it did fall out in transportation, but nothing smashed. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna start off by using the bronzer, which is obviously the bronzing shade. Oh my god, I'm a complete idiot. There's a mirror with it. How did I not see that? Oh, what an idiot. These are incredibly pigmented, so I have to be careful. You only need the tiniest bit. Like, already, I've put a little bit too much on. But yeah, they are really, really pigmented. I love how pigmented they are, though, because I hate it when you've got a product that is not pigmented at all and you're, like, with your brush, like, swirling around, like, where the hell is, you know, my pigmentation, boy? Where's the product? So that's this side of the face kind of done. I don't like to go too heavy with the old kind of bronzer 
just because I like to be quite subtle with every product that I put on. But you can see the comparison of the sides, this side compared to this side. Um, now I'm gonna do the other side. So that is the bronzer done. As you can see, I'm looking very nicely bronzed. Um, it is a little bit difficult for me to apply the product when I don't have my normal mirror that I use. But overall, very happy with that. I am actually really oily, and I'm oily because I did my base makeup quite a while ago, so I probably should have powdered. Um, but that's the bronzer, very happy with that. It's a really, really good shade. It's more of a warm toned bronzer than a cool toned one, but that's absolutely fine. Um, I'm now gonna use the blusher and the blusher is just like this nice pinky shade it's kind of like a peachy pink it's like the perfect color um for me anyway i like peachy blushes and i'm just gonna literally slightly dab that in and kind of build it up because the pigmentation is so high i don't want to you know go all in straight away i like to just kind of build up the pigmentation ah get your hair out your face georgie like I said, I am doing another video for them as well where I'll be doing a different kind of eye look um, using the eyeshadows, um, which will be exciting, but I'm going to film that next weekend instead. Okay, that's the blusher done. Very happy with it. I don't like to go too, you know, in there with the blusher, so I'm very happy with that. Now for the highlighter, which is this one here. I'm not going out today, and I feel like I'm going to put a little bit extra highlighter on than usual because this is very pigmented. It's one of those highlighters that you can really see if you really, you know, want to see the highlighter. It will really be quite prominent. Um, obviously, you can make it subtle because I like mine to be quite subtle, so I just dab a little bit on and it's like done. But because we're on camera, you know, I'm going to put a little bit extra on. Just as hard. This is very finely milled, which is excellent. I like finely milled highlighters because it means that they look kind of seamless and it like blends into your face. You can't see like any kind of cake of the product or anything. Um, it just nicely blends in, which is obviously what you want. And the other side, this is more of a silvery kind of highlight, kind of a white highlighter, which is really good for paler skin tones obviously um the one i currently use is actually a pink one so it's quite nice to have this one and i've really been love using this white one um this week to make a change and a little bit on the nose and then the cupid's bow and then just kind of like everywhere else obviously under the brow bone highlight under the brows. I'm not used to having my eyebrows done whilst I'm doing my highlighter. Um, I only did them obviously for the purpose of the video. Okay, highlighter is done. So that is this palette, this little trio. Love this. I'm actually so happy I got it. The quality of all of them is amazing. Pigmentation, amazing. Colours, really really good suiting my skin tone perfectly they do have um different ones of these so they have different shades of the colors so you can obviously go and have a look see what suits your skin tone that kind of thing and um, the price is the same but the one i have is in the sh shade number six it says it costs £3.58 down from £5.73. So if when you go on the website it's still £3.58, uh, use the 10% discount code. You've got yourself a bargain here, kids. Like, I'm not even joking. The reason why I was so excited to do this video is because I knew the products were really, really cheap and the products themselves are so good. So I was excited to do this because I want to show really good products. Okay, so I've done my base now and I'm now going to move on to um eyeshadow okay so the eyeshadow palette i selected and i got in the in the shade number one i say shade but i got the palette number one um there are different palettes that you can get with different shades in there but this is the one i personally picked um oh god i've got nails this is the issue when you have nails you can't open anything Okay, so this is what the palette looks like. It comes with one of those brushes that every palette comes with that nobody ever uses. But obviously, if you wanted to, it's there, you can use it. And this is what it looks like. So it comes with a mirror, which is always good. I love the fact that their products come with mirrors. I, should, I think that shows like better quality, put a little bit more effort into it. The packaging itself feels very sturdy, good quality, like it's not gonna kind of smash or anything. Um, and these are the shades that I selected. You can do a few different, obviously, looks with this, with the different shades you've got, which is why I'm gonna be filming a second video for them next weekend. 
um, and you'll see that going up next week because I want to do a completely different eyeshadow look. So where shall we start? So I'm going to start off, hopefully I've zoomed you in, um, but I, mm, sorry my brush is breaking. Um, I'm going to start off by using a very pale white shade just on my eye lid. Just poke my love in the eye. And the other side, this is just kind of the base shade. Then I'm going to go in with a slightly more pinkier shade and I'm just going to also go over the top of that just and, and sort of work it into the crease ever so slightly. It's all about building up the eyeshadows. If you don't build it up, it's not going to blend. Then I'm going to use a slightly um, brownier brown and I'm going to use that in the crease as like a transition shade and kind of work that up into the crease. Yeah, please excuse my eyebrows by the way, just to let you know they're not looking their best. Then as a further transition, I'm going to take a more orangey shade and I'm going to pop that kind of in the crease as well on top of that just to kind of define that a little bit more. I do like to take my eyeshadow up quite high which is why I like to do this step. But obviously it's up to you. And I'm also one of those people that likes to use all the shades in an eyeshadow palette. So they're now nicely blended. Then in the actual crease, so obviously I've taken the eyeshadow up above my eyelid. In the actual crease I'm going to take more of a darker brown and I'm just going to kind of work that in just to define that a little bit more and if I'm honest with you if you're going for a subtle look you could leave it like this and that would look obviously really really nice I'm actually going to go for kind of a goldy purpley look today hi I'm back yep sorry my camera always turns off when it gets to 15 minutes it's like nah I'm bored now okay so yeah we're going to go in there with the gold so I'm going to take the flatter side of my brush and like I said, these are very pigmented. And I'm going to focus that on the inner corner. Well, I say inner corner, just inner part. In fact, I'm just going to take it over my eyelid, but I'm going to start in the inner part. Very, very pigmented. Love that. Any kind of unneatness, obviously you can tidy it up afterwards. So I'm now just going to kind of blend that out with the fluffy part of the brush. And I'm now going to take that purple shade, really nice dark purple, that's a really nice shade. And I'm just going to pop that on kind of the outer part. And I'm not going to go on the inner part, I'm going to focus it in the middle towards the outside. And then I'm going to take a pinkier shade and I'm just going to kind of pop that on the outside and just buff out the edges. So on the outer parts like this, buff out the edges to kind of blend it out really really like that very happy with that so that's the eyeshadow on the top done i'm now going to go underneath in terms of fallout there hasn't been any fallout whatsoever which is obviously amazing and um, so i'm going to take some of that gold shade and i'm also going to mix it with some of the purple and i'm just going to literally pop it on the under part of my eye my lower lash line that's the one I just noticed there's an eyelash coming down from my eye and it is going to go in my eye. I saved myself. Okay, that's the eyeshadow done. I actually really like this look. I'm very happy with that. Where did that little weird brush thing go? Oh, never mind. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with that. Where did I put... So basically you can mix so many of the different shades together and get like a really nice kind of purpley, goldy, smoky look. And I love that look. It looks so nice with kind of a nude lipstick or something. I'm going to show you the lipstick in a second. I'm now going to do my mascara and I know this sounds absolutely ridiculous, but I actually use three mascaras um, because I have three and I don't want them all to dry out. So I use them all every single day. Um, but just to let you know, I'm using the uh, one from Sleek, one from... I think it's called Miss Lynn and one from Rimmel. So you don't have to know about them that much. So I'm just going to whack them on my eyelids. Or on my eyelashes. Not my eyelids. Even though it does usually end up up on my eyelashes. Also, just to let you know, this eyeshadow pol palette, this eyeshadow palette is down from £9.32 to £5.73. So remember, with that 10% discount, you've really got yourself a bargain with one of these. So go and have a look on their website. Um, now I'm going to be doing lipstick and I'm going to be going for something that's more kind of 
neutral i chose this liquid lipstick matte liquid lipstick in the shade number two milkshake because it's something that i don't actually have like currently like no shade like this i usually go for brown so i'm actually really excited to have this i have used it a few times love the color really really do love the color so let's apply it and i actually think it's going to go quite nicely with the eye look today somebody is ringing the phone Oh my god, I, I went on the one, the, the mirror that zooms in really closely. Okay, so this is the lipstick. I'm just going to give it some chance to dry. Um... And then I will talk to you. So this is the lipstick. Absolutely love the colour. I think it's a really nice kind of neutral shade to go with like more darker eye looks. I think it matches this kind of look very, very well. Don't have anything like this in my collection. So I was very happy to get this. Um, yeah, love the colour. Yeah, really, really love the colour. I think that's my favourite thing about it. Um, so I'm just going to spray my face with the collection Primed and Ready Setting Spray. Not that I necessarily need it because my skin is so oily. But this one's supposed to be matte. So we'll just, we'll see. Okay, let's go. Ah. Uh, sorry. Got some in my mouth. It tastes like alcohol. Like it tastes like vodka or something. I don't like vodka, but it tastes like it. <laughs> oh, oh dear. I've got spray all over the mirror never mind just to let you know this lipstick is down from £5.73 to £2.86 so a real good bargain price for a liquid lipstick amazing go and check it out again all the links will be down below so that is everything for today's video please go and check out all the links down below. I'll be linking their website, the three products that I've tried, and I'll leave down the discount code as well for you to go and obviously use in their store to buy some products. Obviously, they've got such cheap makeup, so I might go back on there myself and buy a few new bits. Um, so yeah, go and check that out and also their Instagram. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. I will be filming another video with them next week, and there is a vlog coming up after this video. Um just a casual vlog of the day that I'm filming today. Um, so thanks for watching, see you very soon and have a really, really, really good day. Goodbye.